Fellas, today I built my very own Gallant Mojo Dojo set in Lego. So for the past three years on this channel, I've made countless videos, basically just building my own sets, making my own custom minifigures to get across the Lego, the sets that the Jago fans want. I literally went as far as designing my very own set, getting 10,000 people to vote for it so that it would be presented to Lego, only for them to then uh, reject me. <laughs> They said no. Which got me thinking, what if I created a set that was so fantastic based on the best character from the show, the best location from the show, that loads of fans want something so incredible that LEGO couldn't say no? Darren's Mojo Dojo. Now this is an iconic location from the show. Basically, if you don't know, Darren here is, um, let me just give you a little TLBR. He is the best character from the show. He is the brown ninja. He is very handsome, very good looking, and very muscular, and strong, and gorgeous, and I love him. A few years ago, I actually went ahead and built my very own Darren's Mojo Dojo set. And, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it didn't, it didn't turn out fantastically. I, I, turns out I don't actually know how to build. This looks nothing like Darren's Mojo Dojo from the set. There is no similarity to it. I mean, here's me, smiling at a monitor for some reason. I knew that I could make this set significantly better. So I spent the next few weeks literally scouring the internet, trying to find a designer who I could literally you know, just pay, give my money to build this set that I want. And I did this for literally hours at a time. Until I found this. Basically, on Fiverr, you can hire people to just, you know, create whatever you want. And this guy here, Mason, has this service where he will create literally any LEGO set you want. I mean, this dude is seriously talented. So I went ahead and messaged him and said, hey, you know, I want to build a Darren's Mojo Dojo LEGO set. This will probably be the most important thing in your life. And the thing that you're remember for because this is your calling in life. And he came back to me and said, yeah, sure, I can do that because I'm a genius and I know how to build along like you because you're trash and you're garbage and I hate you so much. He didn't actually say that. That's, I guess that's maybe just my like subconscious and the way I... I don't know. But if I'm going to build a set like this, I need it to be representative of what all of the fans want. You know, I need to get across to LEGO what every single fan really wants in this set. So, a few months ago, I went ahead and asked people what should be included in a Darren Mojo Dojo LEGO set. Let's see the responses, shall we? Big Gulp said, um, something that I think is an interesting suggestion. Probably won't be including that in this set because obvious reasons. His trophies, you know, fantastic. These are very recognisable from Darren's Mojo Dojo. His amazing trophies that he got because he's the best at everything he does, obviously. But Hello, the friend says, a back room where Darren can- Okay, look guys, guys, we can't have this stuff in the set because it's like for kids and stuff, so let's cool it down. Small annoying season one boy training. I think that's a fantastic suggestion. We'll put that one in the set, probably better than the um, other two suggestions, I'd imagine, but um... Stacked boards of wood you easily broke because he's the goat. Yes, this is what we want. Good suggestions, he's the greatest of all time, he's yeah. super strong. We need to show that in this set. Fantastic. So I went ahead and sent Mason loads and loads of images, taking into account the things that people asked for. Like, for example, you know, we need the trophies, we need the chopping board, we need, you know, it to be reasonably accurate to the show. But I also wanted it to be more, you know, playful, because in this show it kind of does look a bit boring, I want it to be a bit more interesting. I also wanted this thing to basically just be one of those big Lego modules. You know those buildings that those, like, 50-year-old men who have never felt the touch of a woman in their life have in their room? Um, just something for the whole family. And after a few weeks, he went ahead and sent me these sketches here, which, you know, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I, I guess they're probably better than my sketches. With my stupid face smiling at them for some reason in, in the old video. But after a few weeks of going back and forth with Mason, eventually he came back to me with a design that I thought was absolutely incredible. All right, so I've just got an email from the Fiverr guy who sent some of the images for like the set at the moment. So let's have a look. Oh, okay, this is sick. The interior. Oh my. Oh my god, dude. It's crazy. It genuinely like looks like Darren's Mojo Dojo on the outside. That's amazing. Very, very excited. I'm looking forward to this. Mwah. Cheers. Now this is absolutely fantastic. The only issue, however, is um, the massive void at the top of the building, which, after a long bit of thinking, I decided to, drumroll please, turn into a pub. Nothing said kids' toys and Ninjago like alcohol. Basically, if you don't know, in the show, Darth actually owns his own bar called Laffy's. So once more, I went ahead and sent Mason another photo of Laffy's bar from the show, and he said, cool, let's go with that then. I will update you very soon. Very nice. Thank you very much, Mason. You are gorgeous. Now, things were really starting to come together with this designing process. However, there was still one key element that I was overlooking. Minifigures. Minifigures, minifigures, minifigures. Now, everybody is begging for specific minifigures in Ninjago sets, but LEGO just says, <laughs> I was just going to use another time. Uh, get pranked. Alright, so kind of was thinking, obviously we need, you know, we need a Darren's minifigure. I'm thinking also we need some pupils for the dojo and buy a bunch of, like, robe torsos, chuck them on with some random heads and random legs and just make some children. The other ones I should actually have. I think, just like any Ninjago set, just chuck in a bunch of, like, Kai, Cole, Jay. I also wanted characters like Gail Gossip because, you know, that's the love interest of Darren, although I will take her out if I need to if she thinks she's going to get to my man before me because she's not, he's mine. And 
And after finally getting the finished version from Mason, I was left with this. Basically, this is a 3D digital version of the set. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, but what am I supposed to do with this? It's like digital. So I ordered all of the pieces to build it. Yes, it only cost me like probably 150 pounds. That's quite a lot. It was worth it, believe me. Just look at how many that is. Like this, I think this is only like 15, 20 parcels. So many. Let's go, let's go, come on. Now because this isn't like a normal Lego set, all the parts weren't in like numbered bags. So basically I had like 800 pieces just laid all across my desk. Building took me absolutely ages. I'm not gonna lie. It was a very enjoyable process because I had some absolute bangers on while I was building, but it took several hours. I've still got all of these parts left uh, to go ahead and build the second floor with. So um, listen to this epic song as I build. Listen to this epic song over the time lapse. So I carried on building and did everything I could to get this thing finished. It's a building montage. Yeah, it's a building montage. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, this yeah, thing had oh, like over yeah, 700 oh, yeah. pieces. Oh, the building montage is gonna end now. But before long, the months of planning this set had finally come to a head and I finished building Garrett's Mojo Dojo in real life. I had it in the palm of my hand. But before we take a look at this thing, we need to populate the inside with a few minifigures. Okay, fellas, a few minifigures. Minifigure time. Yes. Now, of course, I went ahead and ordered myself like tons of different minifigures. Like, you know, we had ourselves, for example, this mini Lloyd minifigure, who is a classic minifigure, terrible haircut, but gorgeous minifigure. I think he's a nice, he's, he's a cute little lad. Then we've got ourselves some students, like this one here, who I personally think looks a little bit like me, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna say he's me because why not? And this girl as well, as well as of course the Lord himself, Darren, who's now in his, in his training attire. He's looking very handsome, very good looking, very breathe, breathable. I can't believe I've just said. I also wanted to throw in Darius from Ninjago City Market in his bar, as well as Gail and Vinny. Now, obviously, Gail being the love interest, obviously, you know, she has to kind of take a back seat because I am the real love interest of Darius. He loves me more. <laughs> Clearly, I love him quite a lot as well because I made a probably one too many videos about him, but you know, anyway. And finally, I basically had all of the minifigures sorted. You know, I threw in Zane and Kai in there just for good measure, as well as like some people that just live in Ninjago that would be, you know, using the bar, playing some pool and stuff. And fellas, after a little bit of messing around with the minifigures, I was left with the final product. This absolutely gorgeous, massive custom Gareth's Mojo Dojo. I mean, look, you've got the exterior here where it's completely faithful to the show. You know, you've got Zane's coming in the pipe and you've got the literal like signage that's from the show. It's gorgeous. But the real interesting stuff is when you turn it around and have a look at the inside. I mean, the bottom floor, this thing feels like genuinely is straight out of the show. You know, you've got Darren's trophies, which again are completely authentic and real. Then you've got these two punching bags, which are, you know, gorgeous. And then you come around here and you've got this little guy here who's training with Darren. You've got Lloyd who's chopping the, like, wood or whatever, and he's got a girl that's stood there probably uh, making fun of him because she could probably do that better than him because he's a little baby. He's like a little loser. And then the top floor, honestly, I don't even know what I like more. This is Darren Spark Laffy's. Literally just looking at this table here. That like random black thing that's on the table, I imagine it's the cash register. The picture that I sent him of Darren Spark, literally that had it in it. It is so accurate to it. You've got Darren working behind the bar, you know, cleaning some glasses, making some money, exploiting people, I suppose. Then you've got Kai who's, you know, just hanging around. He's just, you know, he's just chilling in the bar, you know. And then you've got this random dude who's just you know, play and pull. And then, fellas, on the top floor, this is where it gets interesting. Here we've got our Gale Gossip, he's, you know, doing an interview, and then the Stone Warriors are attacking. This is something, actually, in my original Darren's Mojo Dojo, I went ahead and added loads of them. But here I've got three of the minifigures, just to kind of reference the show where they actually invade Darren's Mojo Dojo. you got Gale looking all scared here because, you know, she's not with Darren to protect her. The man, the myth, the legend. Vinny's recording her, he doesn't have a clue what's going on because he's a bit brain dead. And then the two scared civilians, and you've even got the same climbing up there to try and get I don't know how to just express how like genuinely like perfect this thing is. It's massive. It's exactly the scale I wanted. This is so sick. But you know, look, I mean, this currently only seems good to me. And nobody else has seen this thing whatsoever. So let's share it with the people, shall we? So I went ahead and took loads of photos of the Mojo Dojo. I mean, literally tons. I also took some then probably to add to my Tinder profile because I think, you know, this kind of thing will probably get people, you know, swiping for me. And then I uploaded them to Twitter and Instagram. I basically just asked for people's help. Hello, everyone. I just need to ask your opinion on something. I need to know whether or not you think this set that I've made is good. Would you buy it? Would you not? Please respond. Fellas, 
guys, it looks like the results are in. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and have a look at what people are saying. Here we go. Okay, goated. Nice. Best mock so far. Fire. Oh, yes. Dude, people love it. People are loving it. Best custom Ninjago set. Dareth would be proud of me. Love the interior. Elite. Good. Peak. Dareth is so hot, OMG. Facts. Instagram love this thing. They are fond of this thing. Let's check Twitter, shall we? <laughs> Bro did not only cook a gourmet meal, he also cooked. Yes! Incredible. I would rub a bank just to buy this. This is actually so good, WTF. All right, you don't need to sound surprised. I'm not that bad at building. Fellas. They absolutely love it. And now that every Ninjago fan loves this thing, you know, this is the amalgamation of every single Ninjago fan's dreams. Fellas, together, we can fulfill the dream of every Ninjago fan and bring Darren to the masses. Let them know the good word, the gospel of the main brand ninja himself.